Zoe's extraordinary playlist debuted right here on NBC last year with rave reviews. Now in its second season, the show's ensemble cast brings music and joy to the small screen each and every week. I was so happy I got to speak with one of the cast members, Andrew Leeds, to learn more about this extraordinary show. Take a look. Andrew, I am so excited to chat with you. Uh, tell everyone oh. about Zoe's extraordinary playlist. You play David. For anyone who hasn't seen the show, kind of catch us up. Um, well, it's a musical drama comedy. Uh, it's got everything in it. Um, somehow, miraculously, the, the, the writers managed to squeeze everything in there. And um, it's about a girl who, uh, it's almost like a cross between what women want and uh, La La Land. It's a girl who can start being able to hear uh, people's inner thoughts and inner most uh, desires through song. So when she looks at you, she would right now be able to, you would start singing to her and she would hear uh, exactly what you were thinking. Um, is, I'm so excited. <laughs> that's right. How about that? To talk to Anne. <laughs> See, but I couldn't be on the show because I have a bad no, we, you just you just did you just did the show for us. That's exactly what it is. So um, the lead character is played by Jane Levy, who is nominated for a Golden Globe this year for her performance. Is the only only person in all of network television to get a Golden Globe nomination this year, which is kind of amazing. Um, and that's honestly because she's fantastic in the role. Um, she's unbelievable. She can do everything. And um, I play her brother. We're in the middle. We're in the middle of season two. It's on Sunday nights uh, at nine o'clock. And um, it, it's I. It's it's really. Uh, I have found that people are very very uh, can feel very connected to the show and are very moved by it, and especially in this time right now when people are you know dealing with a lot of things. It's sort of an escape, and uh, it's really uh, it's a beautiful show. Well, you are so busy. Uh, just a couple of things. You mentioned a million little things, Veep, Silicon Valley. I mean, you're used to uh, the stage, the screen, all of it. Um, how has this been for you kind of being able to incorporate your love of singing um, and performing in, in this show, in this television? It's honestly been a, uh, like a real dream. Like, I, I, I can't imagine any other show there that would allow me to do exactly this, which is it's as close to a musical as you can get. There have been shows like Glee, which are, you know, which do songs and they perform music, but this you really get to sing songs in the way that uh, that you would sing them in a musical, you know. Um, and I've gotten to do so many interesting things choreographically with our amazing choreographers, and um, and so that's just been really fun. It's always a challenge. I have a song on this coming up episode that I'm really excited about. I got to sing it live, which is most of the time we pre-record the songs, and because of this way this was set up, and um, I was able to do it live. I don't I don't know how it turned out, so <laughs> I should wait to see. But um, that's but teaser. that's good tease. We're tuning yeah. in. And also, you know, for me, I grew up doing Broadway musicals and stuff like that. In California, I became a part of this group called The Groundlings, which is a sketch and improv group. And uh, at The Groundlings, I was able to do a lot of musical sketches as well, So, uh, it, which is great and a really, really fun in a 100-seat theater. So it's nice to be able to explore that stuff on a television screen for, you know, hopefully, you know, many millions of people. We are so excited and congratulations. If there's anything that you kind of uh, would love to do in the upcoming season, kind of uh, give us an idea of what that ultimate performance would be for you. I mean, I just want to keep doing as many, you know, I, I don't have a huge uh, knowledge of, of music. I know sort of Broadway musicals and Billy Joel and Ben Folds and Elton John, and that's sort of, I know a little bit of things here and there, but um, there's some, you know, some great songs that I would love to sing, and I would love to, um, I would love to just, uh, I think, have a story that really lent itself to to the character singing, um, yeah. and explore that, and also just continue to push myself dance-wise because it's always a challenge and and yeah, it's always fun. I'd, I'd love to, you know. I, little by little, I've been getting better at, at turning in a circle, so I'd like to keep turning. Nice. In a <laughs> Could we see you on Dancing with the Stars soon? Uh, I don't think I, I I don't know that that's in my future, but <laughs> it'd be fun though. My mom, my mom and stepdad would be thrilled. You'd go crazy, uh, but listen, yeah. don't rule it out. How about you and Alice doing a duet of Endless Love? <clears throat> I'll try it. Uh, my love. There's a I love it. No, I, lo I love it. Let's Come like you on. sound great. I don't know the song. I told you I don't know any music. Um, but I know what the song a little. Ricky? I don't know the words. Okay. I don't know the words. I know you Endless gotta, Love. I know okay. that part. You know uh, that. There's a da 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 da. I don't know the da da. I could do it da da da.
Okay, we're gonna practice and I'm in another month, we're gonna do this again and we're gonna have it down, okay? Okay, and if Alice gets sick, you can you can understudy her and stuff. And Alice is amazing, by the way. Uh, I, she has amazing stuff this episode coming up too. Oh, so. she does? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's adorable. You're terrific and we so appreciate it. And best of luck, continued success. You too, so good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Let's practice and let's love, I mean okay. it. Okay. See you in a month. See you in a month. I've been practicing. Don't miss Zoe's extraordinary playlist Sundays at 9 p.m. right here on 11 Alive.